Hey everybody, welcome back to The Wolf Pit and another episode of What Are We Eating? In 1949, Greek immigrant Nicholas Lambrinides, and I sure hope I pronounced his name right, dream came true when he opened his very own restaurant and their very first and now famous Skyline Chili restaurant. Nicholas wanted to share the food he grew up eating in Greece with his friends and family in America. There's currently nine Skyline Chili restaurants in the U.S. and they're only located in Ohio and Kentucky. If you don't live or travel to Kentucky or Ohio, you'd never have a chance to try their Coney Dogs or their Chili Spaghetti, which is a big pile of steaming hot spaghetti topped with their secret recipe chili. If you want to add onions or beans to your three-way, you order a four-way. If you want cheese, onions, and beans, you order a five-way. Well, now you don't have to live in Kentucky or Ohio. You can buy their products at your local grocery stores. And that's what I did. I picked up their 13 ounce basic chili spaghetti in the frozen food section for $4.99. Before we open it up, let's go over the details. So let's go over the ingredients first. And unlike most frozen foods, there's very few. And we're off to a good start. I don't see any textured vegetable protein. There's no fillers or extenders added to the beef and the chili. It's all beef. Now for the nutrition facts. The serving size is one cup and there's about two servings per container. Really? Come on, who's only gonna eat a cup of spaghetti and sauce? Anyway, there's 310 calories per serving, seven grams of total fat, 2.5 grams of saturated fat, zero trans fat, 25 milligrams of cholesterol, 410 milligrams of sodium, 44 grams of total carbohydrates, three grams of dietary fiber, two grams of sugars, and 16 grams of protein. Realistically, you should double the numbers. And this was really shocking. It has over a two and a half year Best Buy date. That's a very long time for something to sit in your freezer without getting freezer burn. Now let's open it up and get it out of the box. Now there's two sets of instructions, microwave and conventional oven. And you guys know me, I'm gonna use the microwave. I'm not sharing my chili spaghetti and I'm not gonna wait 40 to 50 minutes to eat it either. I don't wanna wait 40 to 50 minutes to eat. I'm a grown boy, I need my nutrition. So I'm supposed to cut a small slit in the film then place on a microwave safe plate and microwave on high for seven minutes. After microwaving on high for exactly seven minutes, the Skyline Chili Spaghetti was ready. And boy, did it smell good. Now let's turn our chili spaghetti into a three-way and add shredded cheddar cheese. And if you were at a Skyline Chili restaurant, they'd add four times as much cheese. Now let's get it all mixed together I was really hoping it tasted as good as it smelled, because it smelled amazing. Now for the moment of truth, the taste test. I went to twirl the spaghetti on my fork, and it wouldn't twirl. For some reason, they broke up or cut up all the noodles. They were too small to twirl. My mom used to cut up spaghetti for me when I was three years old. This takes all the fun out of eating it. Even though the spaghetti was not twirlable. Twirlable? Is that even a word? The pasta was cooked perfectly. The chili has a real unique flavor. It's definitely not your typical chili. It has a very unique flavor to it. There's either cinnamon or cloves in it, or maybe both. It's not spicy or greasy at all, and it's real smooth. It's definitely not a chunky chili. This is a very interesting and tasty dish. I mean, I really, really like it. I've never had a desire to go to Ohio or Kentucky, but now I'd like to take a trip to try the real deal. I would definitely buy this again. That's how much I liked it. And I'd have to give it a seven out of 10. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you do give this a try. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe and I'll see you soon.